And hello there, this is Uncle Troy. Today we are again playing Minecraft. And the good news is, if you were listening yesterday, uh, the good news is I was not having a heart attack yesterday. The bad news was I was coming down with something. Uh, after I finished editing, uh, my brother just happened to come by. He needed to borrow something. And he said, are you okay, man? I said, yeah, I just had a panic attack or something because I was playing this game and it got all, you know, real on me. But I'm okay now. And he says, oh, that's good because it looks like you're coming down with a fever or something. And I said, no, 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 it's just the game. So after he left, I checked the thermometer and sure enough, I had a fever. I was actually 101.2 or something like that, which uh, for me is actually pretty bad because I normally run subnormal. Not just in my IQ, but in my uh, temperature, I run subnormal. So, you know, that's several degrees uh, fever for me. But I took some of my generic pain reliever fever reducer and uh, piled a bunch of blankets on the bed and laid down for a little nap and woke up feeling much, much better. And what do you know, we've broken into a cave that's already lit up. Isn't that strange? Because I'm pretty sure I don't remember lighting up any caves around here. But sure enough, somebody's lit this up. But they've done it fairly haphazardly. And they've left lots of uh, flowing water. And they've left some uh, resources hanging on the wall. I see redstone. I've seen iron. So I was thinking, well, somebody else on my server must have been down here. Somebody else is... Uh, there's a random uh, furnace all by itself. So somebody must have been down here. Somebody must have uh, been checking this out, lit it up, and just did a piss poor job. And, you know, I, I need to talk to my friends on the server, you know, to make sure they know how we're supposed to be doing this, how we're supposed to be lighting up everything. And remember all that because here in a minute, that's going to be very, very funny. So I went exploring, trying to figure out, you know, how big this area was. And then it occurred to me I could not find my way back to uh, where I'd come in. And then I said, wait a minute, did I just see stairs? Yes, I see stairs. Hey. So I thought, where does these stairs lead to? And then I came right out here at my skeleton base. And that's when I realized that this was actually a part of the... Uh, the caves that I lit up while I was digging down there into the uh, slime spawning area I was going to make, which incidentally has yet to spawn a single slime, so it's probably not in a place uh, that will ever spawn slimes, so that's a lot of wasted effort. We'll have to go back to uh, the original uh, base, my first base in this world, and uh, dig down there if we ever want slimes, but right now we have enough sticking pistons, so I think we're okay. So at this point, I thought, well, how can I possibly get back? Do I want to get back up there? Do I want to uh, go on and walk this railway? And then I thought, well, no, I've probably got an extra mine card up here somewhere. Nope, I don't. But I do have lots of iron. So we'll just make us a mine cart real quick. How many iron to make a mine cart? Looks like five. Alrighty, it's been a while since we've uh, taken this trip, so we'll just take this trip and uh, enjoy the scenery while I tell you the rest of the story about me being sick. So, uh, I took some medicine, uh, gathered up every uh, blanket in the house because I was just shivering to beat the band, and laid down about 7 o'clock that night. And then, uh, it took me a while to get to sleep, but I finally uh, drifted off. Then I woke up and looked, and the clock said it was 10 o'clock. And I thought, oh crap, because on that particular day, I had to be work at 11. And normally I leave about an hour before, uh, we, normally I leave about an hour before uh, I have to be clock in for work, because I don't like being rushed, and I like to be able to stop and pick up something to eat on the way in, or, uh, you know, if I get stuck in traffic or something, I'll still make it on time. So I thought, I'm going to have to really rush to uh, get ready for working time. 
So I just finished shaving, was heading toward the shower when I looked out and noticed it was dark. And I thought, no, we're still in the summer. It's not supposed to be dark at 10 a.m. So that's when I took a closer look at the uh, clock and realized it was actually 10 p.m. I'd only slept about three hours and I was just feeling so much better from my fever having broken that I thought I'd slept all night. Hello. I thought I'd slept all night. So everybody at work got a good big kick out of that the next day. Let's see if we're just gonna take this guy. Yeah, never mind. I was about to say I was gonna try to take this guy out before he blew up, but he blew up. I don't see any particularly dark areas. I mean if I have to put a torch in every space, I guess I will. But, you know, I thought I had this place fairly well lit up, so I'm not really sure how that creeper spawned. I mean, I'm sure eventually I'll figure it out, and I'll probably look straight up at just the right point and find out, you know, a creeper's coming to get me even as we speak. But the bright side is, I saw a creeper. He blew up, and I did not freak out. I did not, like, you know, scream like a little girl. I did not turn into an uh, 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 stuttering idiot. And notice even though it's light, I still have mushrooms spreading up here. And I took that without having another heart attack or whatever. So I think some of my nerves was just me getting sick. My body was freaking out because something was happening. And I was just not uh, smart enough to figure out that. Do you hear creatures all around? I hear creatures all around. Uh, my I was just not smart enough to figure out my body was in distress because I was, you know, getting sick. But I appear to be over it. And I say appear, and I'll put little quotes around appear. Hello. Looks like we have more darkness up ahead. I'm going to mark this with a block of, uh, block of dirt here, so remind me about that later. Anyway, so I appear to be over it. I appear to be much better, and my nerves when I'm playing Minecraft now, appear to be much, much better. Of course, now that I've said that, I will probably die 27 times and uh, lose all my nerve again and just be completely a nervous wreck again and find out it has nothing to do with being sick. All right. Checked out down here. Oh, I knew I'd seen some more uh, iron somewhere when I was moving around. All right, that uh, that area with the water never went anywhere, apparently. And I thought this was a big, open, you know, going to kill me area, but it turned out not to be. Lock this up a bit. And only once I had everything lit up and explored back here did I come back to get this diamond, which I thought should be, you know, several diamonds, and instead it turned out to be about two. But they can't all be winners. Okay, and there was went the last of my diamond hoe. So we're back to just an iron hoe. Okay, and I think that's pretty much all the resources here I'm going to mine for a while. If I go up into this area that opened up, I'm going to be uh, at it all night because, as I said, there's tons and tons of resources left around here that I did not uh, pick up at the time. Let's mark this here. <laughs> yeah, I've got redstone all over. I've got, I've got uh, iron. Yeah. I saw some iron here earlier. Yeah, I'm going to have to just like dedicate an hour or two to figuring this out. And uh, now that I see that cobble, I'm pretty sure this is something that me and Tech Dolphin uh, went through earlier, which probably means that furnace. at ah, I'm stuck. Okay. Which probably means that furnace I saw earlier, random furnace, was something I had left there because I do that sometimes when I need iron for armor or for a pick. I'll just make a random furnace and some random furnace. I'll make a random furnace and then leave it when I'm finished. So we're pretty good there. Meanwhile, over here we still have loads of darkness. You can see where uh, 
we've got some lava here. You can see down into the uh, area I'd already explored there. And some darkness up above, maybe some darkness in that uh, gravel up there. I'm not sure if that's an actual cave or just uh, where, uh, where the gravel's fallen down. But, oh, look over here. We have diamond and more lava. And then I can see a torch up there. And I can see spark from lava, which just makes me suspect I've been here before. So let's uh, mark that real quick and run around the corner. And no more creepers up here at the zombie spawner. Alrighty, if we come over here and hop up here, we see those two torches I just left. So apparently I've been right there on the edge of that particular uh, area for some time. And I would like to stair step my way down there, but it looks like place. It looks like uh, that didn't go where I expected it to. But it looks like we're on a bit of an overhang, and if I try to uh, dig down a stair step to make a shortcut here, it's going to just, yeah, leave us like that. So I'm going to have to go sideways or something. So let's not uh, bother with that right now. Let's get on back with our exploring. Tech Dolphin has joined the game. Alright, I remember seeing, uh, I guess there was some diamond down here earlier. And I went through a lot to dig through this. I'm not going to show you all, but uh, basically cleared out a big chunk of this here gravel to find out that there was exactly one piece of diamond here. Now on the bright side, that brings us up to three for this session, so I've got enough for a new pick if necessary. However, the lack of diamond did get me a little frustrated, so I decided to come back to base and find that I finally got a tree to grow down here. Uh, I had dug out a little above and was actually up to about seven or eight high, and I'm thinking I may need to uh, go a little higher. But I can now grow wood down here, so I don't need to go up top to uh, get more wood or other supplies, because let me tell you, that... Uh, that ladder ride does get annoying after a while. Oh good, I've already got a sapling. There we go. And the plan was I was about to uh, plant a sapling and then nourish it with bone meal and see if I could get it to grow. And then I realized, hey, where's all my bone meal? I had bones a while ago. Do, 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 do. Trimming trees, trimming leaves, do, do, do. That's my tree leaf trimming saw, do to do, do. And that's when I realized that no, I'd already put my bones aside for some reason. Okay, let's make us some bone meal real quick. And let's grow a tree. And there you have it, a five block high tree with no leaves around it. And I thought this was a fluke. I thought, well, that's very odd. That'll never happen again. So let's try it again. So I gathered up some uh, saplings and, okay, apparently you have to right click to use bone meal, by the way. And well, no, this is not gonna work again. Apparently I'm just wasting my, oh, there we go. Another five high block, or five block high tree with no leaves. So I thought, well, I need to patent this. Because if you can grow a tree with no leaves, that makes harvesting that much uh, faster. And uh, by the way, Tech and I are talking about, uh, talking about music videos. He had uh, found some diamonds and was so happy he could ride a pig, which got us talking about uh, about the uh, quest for diamonds video and he started talking about other videos while I so while I'm sitting here trying to decide how to uh, respond to that I see a sapling fall out of thin air and I realize that I cannot some places I can jump and some places I can't and there goes another sapling out of thin air and that's when I realized that there are leaves up here 
which apparently I cannot break, or if I'm breaking them, they're not making uh, any noises. But as the leaves despawn, they're dropping saplings. So it's not that I grew a tree with no leaves, I grew a tree with invisible leaves. And that just freaked me the heck out. And I would love to post this on the forums, but here lately, every time somebody sees something interesting and posts it on the forums, uh, they're immediately denounced as a troll, you know, that you made that up. Or somebody says, oh, it's been that way for the last 17 versions, you know, quit posting things we already know. And uh, the forums are actually a little disappointing to me here lately. So I think I'm going to let this, uh, let these invisible leaves be our little secret for now. So don't tell anybody, okay? Shh. Alrighty then. Well, I think I'm having a pretty good luck with these trees. So I'm going to grow a few more until I get about a stack of wood. And then I'm going to uh, call the night because I'm pretty tired. So this is Uncle Troy signing off. Uh, wishing y'all a good night. Please continue to thumbs up, uh, leave comments, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good night.